Hey team, it's Dr. George here, and today I wanted to talk about a topic that's not easy for people, but it's important. And I wanna make it easier for you, as well as your partners. STIs, or sexually transmitted infections. They are bloody annoying, I get it. They can be sore, they can be, you know, they can cause people to feel really ugh. But all sexually responsible adults, we get regular sexual health screening. And as I say to my patients, if you play in the water, there's always a chance you're going to get splashed. Part of the solution of getting your treatment is also letting your sexual partners know. It's not like these infections came down from the sky, gifted from the Lord. You probably acquired them through sexual intercourse. And that might be with regular partners, or it might be with partners that you have met at a venue. But importantly, if you can contact your sexual partners, please let them know. So that way they can go and get testing as well. This week at work, I've had a couple of patients who have done that. And one patient had his sexual partners go, oh my God, I can't believe this. I'm so angry and blah, blah. And it's like, Dude, calm the fuck down. It's an STI. Your house hasn't burned down. This is super easy to sort out. And I want you to remember, you may tell people who don't have any symptoms of any STIs. That doesn't mean they shouldn't get tested. They should get tested because things like chlamydia and gonorrhea, you can have it in the throat, you can have it in the butt, and you can even have it in the genitals with no symptoms at all. So this is a really important thing for your partners to be able to go and get tested and treated as well. It's not a blame game. It's about being supportive, caring, and loving to the people that you're enjoying time with. I want to encourage you to be brave. It's not easy to do. And I want you to feel confident to be able to have these conversations. They can be awkward, but we can make them easier on everybody. And the primary thing is, don't be a dick. I hope this is helpful. Please leave a comment below. Have you had any absolutely shockers of notifications? I remember when I told a partner about crabs, oh my God, they were livid. And I get it too, crabs are a pain in the ass, but still it left me a little bit like, uh, I don't know if I wanna to talk to this person anymore. And I suppose if I don't wanna to talk to them, maybe I don't wanna have sex with them either if they're gonna be that bunged up. Anyway, that's my therapy, not yours. Please look after yourself. If you get any symptoms, sores, rashes, worries or concerns, go and see your doctor and get tested. And if anything does be positive, let your partners know so they can go and get tested and treated as well. Stay safe team, have an amazing week. Can I ask you please, could you like, share and subscribe? Because it makes the algorithm better. And I wanna share this information with as many people as possible. It only makes our community better when we have this information on hand. Have an amazing day.